In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. It's great to see you all, friends. It's uh, wonderful to be with you, and uh, this weekend we're celebrating the Festa of Our Lady of Mount Carmen. Uh, we continue to pray for relief against the uh, horrible virus, for an end to racism, for help for all those without jobs. And this Friday, the Red Sox begin the season. Again, it's so great to be with you. Let us begin Mass calling to mind that the Lord Jesus is with us. He knows each of us by name. He's our dear friend. He's our Savior. He's our God. And He is delighted to forgive our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God besides you who have care of all that you need show you have not unjustly condemned. For your might is the source of justice. Your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power is disbelieved and those who know you, you rebuke temerity. But though you are master of might, you judge with clemency, and with much lenience you govern us, for power, whenever you will, attends you. And you taught your people by these deeds that those who are just must be kind, and you give your children good ground for hope that you would permit repentance for their sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you are good in forgiving. You, O oh Lord, are good in forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O oh Lord, to my prayer and attend to the plead, my pleading. Lord, you are good in forgiving. All the nations you made shall come and worship you, O oh Lord, and glorify your name, for you are great, and you do wondrous deeds. You alone are God. Lord, you are good in forgiving. You, O oh Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in kindness and fidelity. Turn toward me and have pity on me. Give strength to your servant. 
Lord, you are good and forgiving. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit because he intercedes for the Holy Ones according to God's will. The Word of the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus proposed another parable to the crowd, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in the field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No, if you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, First collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Where are we going after we die? There are three possibilities. First, for those who are basically oriented towards God and goodness, and who need no further, further purification, they're going straight to heaven. Second, for those who are again basically oriented towards God in goodness, but who need some purification, they will go to heaven after that purification has been lovingly accomplished by God. That's what we mean by purgatory. All in purgatory are on the way to heaven. Finally, for those who are basically oriented towards evil and against God, much to God's heartbreak and disappointment, they will enter hell. God does not want anybody to end up in hell. God wants all to be saved, and the church prays that all will be saved. Well, when I first read today's gospel, the parable of the weeds and the wheat, I took a wrong impression that we should be obsessively afraid of going to hell. It seemed to me, and again I was wrong, that God would be unfazed, could care less if we ended up in hell. But a closer examination of today's parable along with today's other readings, reveals a more optimistic situation and an incredibly loving God. First, notice that while the slaves want to pull up the weeds immediately and burn them, the master, God says, no, wait until the last moment to decide who goes to heaven and who goes to hell. The point is God wants to give us every opportunity to repent. God wants to reach out in every way possible to offer us his unlimited forgiveness. God wants to give us endless chances to accept his incredible mercy. God wants us to be saved. God bends over backwards to help us get to heaven. And in the first reading, we hear that God is, quote, 
lenient to all. That includes me and you. He's lenient to you. He's lenient to me. And that God judges with, quote, clemency, mercy, and much lenience. That God wishes our repentance, not our condemnation. That God looks upon us as his children. And all of this gives us, quote, good grounds for hope that we are destined for heaven. The psalm supports this reassuring message, reminding us that, quote, God is good, forgiving, abounding in kindness, merciful, gracious, and slow to anger. God's not someone to live in cringing fear of. And though not on the same level as the Bible, the testimony of many saints like Catherine of Siena and Blessed Faustina speak of the incredible love and the infinite mercy of God. From all of this, let me recommend two things. First, let us strive with all our hearts to live totally for God. We want to give, do this because a life lived totally for God, a life lived to bring about God's way, the way of love, cherishing lives of all races and at all stages, caring for the poor, overcoming illness and poverty, that kind of life, that is the purpose of life. In addition, we also want to live for God because while God is incredibly merciful and he fervently wants every one of us to be saved, nonetheless, we do have the ability to make the wrong choice, to live so radically towards evil that we would end up in that place God does not want us to be. The second thing I want to recommend is that while only God knows for certain whether we are more basically oriented towards good than evil, most of us are in fact living more for God and for good. And thus, while we should not be arrogant about going to heaven, neither should we live in obsessive, excessive fear of hell. Rather, we should have a basic confidence or optimism based on not our perfection, because we're all far from perfect, but based on our trust in God's love in mercy, God's desire that we all be saved. To sum up, using words from today's readings as exact quotes, God judges us with, quote, much lenience. And we, quote, children of God have, quote, good grounds for hope that we are going to heaven. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Grateful for God's merciful love, we bring our prayers to the Father. For all those struggling with the pandemic, for their healing, we pray to the Lord. That people of all races will be treated equally, we pray to the Lord. For all those struggling with unemployment due to the recession, we pray to the Lord. For the healing of all the sick, we pray to the Lord. For our families, that they would be bound more closely in mutual love and respect, we pray to the Lord. And for all who have died, especially members of our own family and our parish family, that they would share in Christ's resurrection, we pray to the Lord. And for all the prayers in the quiet of our hearts and in our parish's book of intentions, we pray to the Lord. God of compassion, as a mother or father cares for their child, you care for us. We ask you to hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, Accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you blessed the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, his coming in glory we await in unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the Church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. <clears throat> Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Just a few announcements. You've been so terrific with your financial support. Can't thank you enough here. You're keeping our parishes going. You're, you're really contributing to the family. You're the best, thank you. The uh, homily take home nugget is, God is kind and merciful towards us, his beloved children. So as the scriptures say, we have good grounds for hope that we are headed towards heaven. It's always great to be with you. Look forward to seeing you right back here next week. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.